Okay, so this ridiculously bad pencil sketch can be turned into a real sellable product in minutes. You don't need Photoshop and you certainly don't require a design degree. You really just need a pencil and Kittle's new SmartFlow tool. In this video, I'm gonna show you how this feature can start from even the messiest sketch, which are the kind I typically draw, and transform it into a real engravable product complete with mockups ready for Etsy or even your own online store. So if you wanna be a maker, but turning ideas into income has been completely out of reach to you, then Kittle's new SmartFlow feature might be the exact shortcut you've been waiting for because it's what allowed me to take that awful sketch of what was supposed to be a dog and create something awesome like this coaster. But it can do a whole lot more and I wanna show you all of the, the kind of corners you can get into here. So even if you have a mental block around learning design tools because they can be quite complex, then this new SmartFlow can help you turn any idea you have starting maybe from a sketch and turn it into a real product that you can put together and sell. And I wanna show you literally how I took that awful sketch and turned it into a bunch of different things and, and what you can do with them. So let's get into it. And I'm just gonna jump right in here. I created a new project and a new artboard in Kittle. I imported that horrible diagram. And you'll see this little plus sign over on the right. This is the ability to add a new smart board. So I'll create one and then I can enter an AI type query. And in this case, I'm just gonna write a thing that says clean up this diagram. Now I'll warn you in advance, these queries take about a minute to run. And when you do, you'll get something like this dog. Now, now this image in itself is pretty remarkable given the sketch that I started with, but I wanted a transparent background. So I'm gonna click the checkbox for that. And then I'm also gonna refine the prompt just to make sure that it, it cleans up some of my loose ends. And so I'll do that and you'll see it added a bunch of new text there. Uh, I'll just quickly regenerate here and uh, I get a different dog, but it's on a transparent background and it's good enough for what I want. Now, of course, there's a lot more we can do here. So maybe this image I created is going to be on a coaster and coasters come in sets of four. So maybe I wanna have a set of household pet coasters for some reason. So I can take this dog and I can create another smart board derived from that. And uh, maybe I wanna generate coasters for cats eventually. So I can go and enter a query on that smart board to say make a cat in the same style and uh, maybe next I want rabbits. Somebody might want a rabbit, so I'll create another smart board, change the query to rabbit, and uh, run a new prompt. And then finally, guinea pigs, they're popular household pets. So I'll clone that, that prompt again, and I'll change it to guinea pigs, and I'll run that one. So now I have three queries running at the same time. I'm not gonna labor you with, with those things running, but when I'm done, I get four different pets, and they all have exactly the same style, and I didn't have to do anything here, as you saw. So I think all in all, that alone is pretty cool, but we can do even more than this. Now, let's say I wanna take these images and I wanna create specific products. So I'll create two smart boards. On the first smart board, uh, I'm going to say, put this dog on a round stainless steel keychain, high quality. You can be pretty specific with the queries here. And uh, for the second one, I'm going to say, put this on a slate coaster. And you have to tell it that the slate is gonna be white when it's engraved. Now, once I have this, I wanna be able to create some, some media images for things like Etsy or my website. So I created three smart boards here off the dog coaster. And on the first one, I'm gonna set a query that says, just put this coaster on a glass coffee table in a living room scenario. Now for the second one, I'm gonna be pretty elaborate here. I'm gonna say arrange uh, this coaster in a stack, put it in a nice uh, stainless steel uh, frame, a uh, coaster holder. Uh, I even talk about the studio lighting here. So uh, again, you can have a whole lot of detail and you can set up you know, how the arrangement's gonna be photographed. It's just crazy what you can do with these prompts. And uh, I'll, I'll create that one and I'll run it. And then for the final one, I'm, I'm gonna, I want a coaster in use. So I'm gonna say, create a, a, a scene where there's a drink with, uh, in a glass with ice in it. It's gonna be on a coaster. 
And uh, just to kind of hammer home the need for a coaster, I'll say right beside that coaster is a water ring because somebody didn't use a coaster, you know, just to create the message that, that a coaster is important. So I'll set all of that up and I'll run that third query and uh, they're, they're kind of popping out here, but you'll see when they're all finished that uh, we have the coaster uh, on the table, we have the stack of coasters in the stainless steel holder on a, on a table, and looks actually really nice. It looks like a photograph, which is exactly what you want. And then for the final coaster here, when it, when it pops up, you'll see that it's an actual glass with a drink and ice, and it's on top of one of, the, one of these coasters, and that water ring is right beside it. It's a bit of a party scene in behind, uh, just like the query asked for. So all in all, it's pretty cool. So I'll show you just one final thing here that you can do with smart boards. And let's say I wanted to create a company logo. So what I could, what I could do is take that original dog and I could just clone it into an image. I could then create an artboard and put that on an artboard, then take some text. And I'm just going to call my fake company here, Idle Dog Productions, and there'll be a byline that says a maker's best friend. And it's all rough, but it has the content I want, but I can create an actual logo using, using a smart board. It's just a case of saying, I want take this image that I created and make it an oval logo and you know, change the text so that the I in idle is a bone and a maker's best friend, the word friend should be, should be emphasized. And, and then I can run the query. And when it runs, I get a nice logo. Now, again, I might want to take that logo and, and create some merch, for example. So in this case, maybe I want to create a t-shirt so I can create yet another smart board in, in this flow and uh, say I want a t-shirt on a person who's standing in a dog park for some reason, I guess, because we have our, our dog theme. And uh, I want uh, the logo on the, uh, on the left chest of a t-shirt. And I can run that query and uh, I will get a t-shirt. And it gives you a real good feel for, for what you can do even before you ever create anything. All right, so you can see this was pretty easy. And just a reminder of what we achieved here. I started from a really bad sketch. I created uh, a, an image from that and a few similar images. Uh, then I created a couple of products, a keychain and a, and a coaster. From that, I created some media images that I could publish on Etsy. Then I took the same image and I created a logo just by creating content that I wanted on it and generating the logo using a smart flow. And uh, finally took that and created some merch. I put it on a t-shirt just to see how it would look. So all in all, pretty simple. I didn't have to know anything about graphic design. Uh, Kittle took care of that and uh, I just had to type some prompts. Okay, just before I wind down here, a bit of disclosure. These smart boards are tightly coupled to AI. And now Kittle has done all the legwork for you to get all of these AI models plugged into their product. But understand running those models costs money typically. And uh, the good news is Kittle takes care of all of that for you as part of a paid plan. But you can see the, the models here. You can pick any one of these to, to run on a smart board. And you'll see a number beside each one of them. That's the number of credits in your, in your Kittle plan that you're going to use when you run a smart board, uh, when you run one of those prompts. Now, the good news is if you want to understand how prompts work, because they can get really complicated, Kittle has created a number of of templates that you can use. And you can just go through these and click them. You can certainly use them the way they are, or you can just look at them to appreciate how, how some of those prompts are built because AI prompts can get fairly complicated, but it's still far easier than trying to, trying to push pixels if you're not really a graphic designer. So overall, uh, that's Kittle smart flows and, and what you can use them for in a maker business. Uh, certainly when I saw this, it was like a godsend to me and I plan to use these a lot. Anyway, I'll wind down there. Leave a comment down below if you have an opinion of this or uh, you wanna see more of this kind of thing. Uh, I'd like to hear what maybe you would do if you, you know, if you took a pencil and scribbled a really bad design like I did, uh, you know, what you would create uh, with that design. And with that, I'll wind down. I'll say get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.